Hello, welcome to Blue Heron Tarot. We're gonna do a read for Leo um, for the year, for the year 2021. And also just take note that today is December 21st, 2020. So um, <clears throat> yeah, maybe the energies will dictate a specific vibe. We'll see. Um, I do get personal reads. My information is in the description box and you can email me if you have any questions. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I really appreciate your presence um, and just being here. Thank you so much. Very grateful. Where are we? Five of Pentacles, Leo. And then the strength. Okay. That's interesting. Interesting. For some of you, you guys are spending time worrying about um, maybe a career or some kind of um, like losing your your luxuries, like losing what you have um, or fear that you won't get those things, Leo. Um, I think you're used to on some level, it could be like a past life thing where you're used to just kind of, you know, living a life of luxury. Sorry, I'm looking for my, oh, there it is. Living in a, like a life of luxury and yeah, kind of bathing in the, you know, bathing in luxury. Um, but also you have, you, you, you live from your heart. So it's not like, I don't see you as like superficial. I just feel like it's something that you are used to or something you expect. And I don't see you not getting it, Leo. Um, I definitely feel like this year it's time to stop worrying about it and stop holding on to loss, okay? For some of you, it could be a little more intense than material things. It could be relationships. It could be just a belief system, something that you really were holding on to or you are holding on to. Um, your Leo strength is going to come in and um, you're going to move into this energy without worrying about losing it, okay? Into this abundant energy. Um, the Nine of Coins is just like self-sufficient you know maybe for some of you you actually worry that you're going to be like alone like powerful um abundant but alone um but for a lot of you don't worry about the money you're always going to manifest money as a matter of fact it looks like it's going to increase so this year you're going to learn to let it go and allow yourself to gain um abundance independence you know vitality in in all sorts of ways without um worrying about it so as you release this five of pentacles and acknowledge the loss you know feel it breathe through it and then move on move back to your freedom move back to your heart mm. it's gonna be awesome okay right off the bat you have the prince of cups so you're romantic. You're in a romantic m mood in January. Um, you might stir up romance. You might create a little romantic story. Um, romance is on the mind, okay? You are going to be very fortunate with money, honestly. Really fortunate. Your career might change, but there's going to be a lot of expansion when it comes to finances and stability and security. So it's interesting. Maybe for some of you, you might gain more money this year or wow that's interesting this year you're in a really good place leo where you're going to communicate your truth as well mm -hmm. yeah i feel like you're going to communicate your truth you're going to be more true to who you are with your family for some of you, you might have family members that don't exactly like accept you for who you are or how you are, and you're not going to let that. You're not going to try to please them, okay? You're not going to try to be somebody you're not. You're going to speak your truth, and it's going to start at home. It's going to start in the family um, through communication. Things are going to really sh um, change in your home life. You're really going to communicate your truth this year. Oh my God. And you're going to be very, very, very victorious. 
when it comes to what you want to create, um, the things you want to be loyal to, they're going to be loyal back to you. Um, being on stage, being in the forefront, being um, whatever it is that you need to express, you are going to like successfully express that. Watch out for pride. That might be something you need to let go of. There's some kind of thing this year that you're holding on to, but also you're cutting through the, the bullshit. You're communicating really well. You're speaking your truth. I feel like you're gaining so much that you just, you know, sometimes you worry that you have a lot to lose or you worry about money. Nonetheless, everything else looks pretty awesome. If some of you guys are performers, singers, artists, um, writers, anything out in the public eye, on stage, that kind of thing, a lot of success in that area. Mm. And you're going to be really honoring your health as well. Really devoted to your health, to your spirit, to your mental health really grounding that down. You might even teach people about health, some of you, Leo. You might be a teacher of health. You're gonna be very, whatever you speak out, it's gonna come from a place of truth, okay? And so you're really going to like be very successful in whatever you're teaching, whatever you're performing, whatever you're showing, because um, you're really coming from a direct place of truth. You really understand it. In the beginning, you're kind of trying to manipulate things, move things around in the first month, but then things start to change and you really move into your truth, okay? It starts at home, Leo, where you start speaking your truth there, and then it just, it, it expands outward to like everybody, and you're very victorious in whatever you need to communicate. You're being very devoted to your health, and that might be part of what you're communicating, what you're helping, or teaching, learning, um, expressing, teaching, learning, expressing. Um, the Gourmet Chef, which is the Night of Death. So some of you might have a earth sign in your um, that you're in a relationship with. It's going to be something that moves extremely slow. Or the area of relationship is just comfortable. It's moving. It's building. If you're not in a relationship yet, um, earth sign might be coming in. Or some something that moves very slow but steady. Okay. Um, in the eighth house, you're alchemizing. Ooh, I like this. Aww. You're a seeker of truth. You're a seeker of love. Mm -hmm. In the eighth house, you're alchemizing, Leo. You're, you're, you're letting your heart rule over your mind. But it's because you're understanding the dark aspects, for lack of a better word, or the distorted aspects of the mind, and you're you're observing it. You're like, no, that's not going to control you. But it's because you've gone to the depths, you've allowed yourself to observe the mind, and therefore kind of have like, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, um dominion over the mind, you know, heart over mind. You're really, really learning that this year. In fact, you're really coming into your heart. And, it, and I really feel like you're coming into like an energy where all the things that you deserve are coming towards you. So don't have any worry. Definitely let go of worry. It doesn't look like there's really much to worry about, Leo. It might be hard, like maybe it's a new thing for you to speak your truth in the way like with your family. That's got to be hard. Um, but don't worry about it. You got to let go of how they see you, their expectations on you, and just be you because you're so much moving into your truth, okay? Um, Knight of Wands, rock star. Okay, some of you literally are rock stars. Are you going to be a rock star? You're really going to be victorious in the public eye, on stage, on video camera, right? You're speaking your truth. If it's in if it's in social media, if it's online, which is the case for a lot of people right now, it's going to be so successful and you're going to be speaking, singing, expressing truth. So it's really going to draw people in. It's going to be very successful, Leo. You know? A lot of gain, a lot of financial gain. 
Are you serious? So, and people are gonna just adore you, your social group. They're just coming towards you. So your soul tribe is going to not only like, you're not, you're not only going to manifest your soul tribe if you haven't already, but you're almost gonna be like the, the empress of the soul tribe. Like they're all coming to you. It's like they're, they're seeking you out. I think it's because you're in the public eye so much. They're following you, they're seeking you out, but they're like-minded. They're exactly, you're really moving into Empress energy, Leo. You know, male or female, doesn't matter. You're in this energy, of, especially because of what you've been doing with, I think a lot of you have been meditating, observing your thoughts, observing things that no longer serve you and knowing your truth. And you're in this energy of like, you know, accepting all that there is and allowing all the blessings to move to move towards you. So I do feel like because you got the five of pentacles card, you are, you're going to experience the loss. Okay. Since we're, it says it's the 21st, right? You're going to experience the loss of the 3d as you move into the 5d. You're going to experience the loss of old attachments, um, that no longer serve you in it. And it hurts. It feels like a loss to the part of your mind that's used to that realm. Okay. But it'll be okay. There's so much strength and success in this new energy that you're moving towards, Leo. Don't even worry about it. So it is conquering this worry as you release yourself from your old self and moving into your new self. And are you going to be successful? Yes. Meeting your shadows? Yes. This whole year is extreme success, especially in career for you, Leo. Especially in career. You're calling in your soul tribe big time. I mean, you're going to find yourself in a community of people that really adore you. And, and, and it's mutual. You adore them. They adore you. It's 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 lovely. Um, it's very expansive. A lot of love there. A lot of strength. It's a lot of holding to your truth. Yay. Yay, Leo. Yay. Mm, yeah, you're building a new world. Ace of Pentacles. That the world, based on 5D, or based on love, based on your strength, based on your truth. No distortions. True, 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 truth. Six of Pentacles, moving into a state of balance. Redistrib redistribution, Leo. Mm, connecting to the roots of the earth, Leo. Redistribution. So when, when, what I think of when I see this card is I'm just, you know, seeing that you're, as you release the old, you're going to give your energies to what serves you and what is more expansive and what is more abundant. Not things that block you, but things that help you grow. Yeah, you're moving into the age of Aquarius. I know. That's cool. I don't know, Leo. Let's do some starseed cards. Okay. Energetic sovereignty, absorbing what is not yours. That's over. Okay, so you've been absorbing what is not yours. You have some karmic ties attachments to old things that you have to let go of this year you're going to you're not going to absorb what is not yours anymore but that's what you're moving out of it's going to hurt a little bit but it's moving you into so much success and you know better you know okay so it hurts because you know you have to let it go some people um they're not sure they're not sure if they should let something go you know what you need to let go of doesn't mean that everybody in your life is going to leave but those <laughs> You're not going to get like, sometimes we look for love in the wrong places. And I'm specifically thinking for you, it's like, you know, family members, but it could be lovers. It could be friends and it might be like little pit, bit, bits of it. But a lot of you, the example I want to make is like a family member, a brother, sister, parent, grandparent or whatever. Um, you're looking for love through them. You're looking through uh, for approval through them. It's not, it's not a match right? You're not going to receive that reflection from them at this moment in time. And you have to, I feel like you're going to own that. 
and say, I'm not going to get that energy from them. I could try and try and try and it's never going to satisfy. So you, you find it in the soul tribe. You're attracting people that can reflect that kind of validation, which you don't need and you're not going to need it. But nonetheless, it's going to be there for you. Validating that you are pure love, that you are talented, that you are beautiful and, you know, successful in the sense like, you're abundant. You, you have all the elements. You're very lovable. You're very likable. People want to hear what you have to say. You know things, right? Um, trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Yeah, and another thing I want to add is these people, they come back. Most of them come back. So just lean in, have faith, allow them to go. They will come back. You're going to learn. You're going to know that you know that you know this year. Okay, and for some of you, honeymoon, bliss, uh, you're going to go on a honeymoon this year or do some traveling or again, it's that six of swords card for me where it's, it's probably less about love and it's more about you know, if this, this read isn't super much super about love. In the relationship department, you have a earth sign or something moving really slow and steady. So it's positive. Um, but, you know, you might meet someone like <laughs> you might meet someone while you're traveling. Um, but I think it's more you're you're alchemizing. You're learning how to create what you need to create by the truth that's coming in by observing the thoughts and moving into the heart as being your truth and it's creating this beautiful um new reality where you're manifesting your soul tribe you're manifesting success where you're very successful on stage and um very successful in expressing what you need to express etc 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 um a lot of people are attracted to you this year, Leo. A lot of people. When you're calling in, when you have Empress showing up in, in the 11th house of like friends and social groups and, and Aquarius, um, it's just, it's very, you know, you're shifting into a whole new dimension because she knows how to do heaven on earth. She knows how to... If, She'll birth whatever you give to her, but when you do this kind of alchemy and you and you have this kind of strength where your heart is in charge, she's going to birth out heaven, you know? Yeah. Everything's going to, as you let go of things, the abundance is just going to come back tenfold for you, Leo. So that's all I have. Um... If you want a personal read, my information is in the description box. Have an awesome year and take care, Leo.